please subscribe now for all new PMR uploads. Hi everybody, it's Jamie at PMR. Right, for all you custom geeks out there, and I'm going to tell you this is actually up on the Bay of Evil and Thieves. Now, <laughs> I could say, would you look at that? I could say it is a work of art. I could say it is the mythical creature that is the one piece cage, level wine cage. Yep, I might still have one or two left. And I have done a build. Couldn't resist. Okay, this is a very, very special one off reel. But um, be warned if uh, <laughs> it's not cheap, you would need deep pockets for this. Yeah, it is the dog's danglies, it is the full nut package, it is absolutely stunning. Based on a chrome rocket. I've been thinking about this build for about six months and I finally got round to building it and I will tell you that it is an M12. There are, hang on, move this up a little bit, there are 12 bearings in this absolutely stunning reel. There's three here and there's three here. There's one here, there's one here, there are two in the level wind, one here and one here, there are two in the spool and they are hybrid ceramic and the one that's in the float cap here, chamber, also hybrid ceramic. Ah, let me make myself a little more comfortable and let's have a little chat about this reel. Yeah, very, 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 very special reel. So, carbon fibre handle. Japanese carbon fibre handle. It's got the, the slots. It's the curved 100mm carbon fibre handle. So it's uh, 4 inches carbon fibre handle. Same size as a, an Abu power handle in, in length, but a lot lighter and stronger. And these very, very special aluminium red anodized grips with three bearings in each one and uh, you can yeah you can really get hold of those they're rather nice actually it's got a AKS tournament mini star drag with a uh, red one with uh, black inserts now here's the first bit would you look at that yep I'm actually going to take this one off. Now, I did actually make something similar for an Akios that uh, was um, oh, it's stiff. Was uh, silver and purple, and it's uh, it's made of acrylic, and it's a float chamber cap, but it's uh, a very rare one-off. In actual fact, it's a two-off. That's uh, I did this on one other reel about nine months ago but it wasn't a reel like this which had two it only had the one float cap on one side I just yeah I really like the look of that and of course in there yep titanium right hang on I'm gonna excuse me a minute I screw this back up all right My OCD is getting the better of me and I'm going to have to uh, do the normal thing and uh, there we go, nearly there. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, so acrylic float cap and also acrylic float cap on this side too. Yeah, couldn't resist. Uh, based on a chrome rocket, it's got chrome rocket 6500 abu chrome rocket it does say ct there but there's kind of a hole there stopping that from saying ct anymore and before you ask yeah 
the clicker works too. It all works on this thing. The uh, cage is an AKS Sportscast Level Wind one piece cage. This is rare as rocking horse doo doo. In actual fact, I don't know anybody on the face of the planet, apart from me, that's got any of these cages. Because these cages came in in about March, April of this year, 2017. And they were sold out by uh, June or July. And I decided to take a box of about 10 and stick them in a corner because they promised there would be another, or AKS promised there would be another delivery of these cages in October. The last time they said that, it took them four years to uh, produce some more. So uh, October's been and gone. It's uh, middle of, uh, or end of November. So at this particular point, we are looking at the rarest cage on the planet. The 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 spool. Look at the look at this spool. Now this is an ultralight V spool with dimples that's braid ready. And the reason it's got the dimples is so that if you wanted to use braid on this, you could use braid. Now I know I always say you don't put braid on a multiplier when you're casting. That's because you put your thumb on it, and if it loops up and cuts, spins back you could end up chopping your thumb off but this is a level wine so you've actually got a guard up here so that can't happen so you could use braid on this and cast with it so very very special and these are also very very rare they made just a few about a year ago and they went out there were about 50 of these made not many and uh I haven't seen any for ages. They all kind of disappeared very quickly. And I thought, ah, I've hidden a few. As usual, in my little box. So, there you go. Something also very, very rare. Um, 316 Marine Grade Stainless Steel. World famous PMR Bespoke Custom. Quick Release Crown Screws. I'm going to have to think of a quicker name. That is just a, a tremendous mouthful. Yeah. Anyway, also, it's an Abu with a mag. Can you hear that click? Yeah, I've been at it with an Akios mag in here and shoehorned an Akios mag in. Now, let's uh, take a look inside this puppy. There you go. Some people ask why I haven't put a bearing in here. Now I find that when you put a bearing in here and you actually want to go and catch fish that it makes this very weak and it's one of the points or the main point of failure when you're trying to pull something in that's a little bit heavy. So I'm staying away from putting bearings in there at the moment and um, I'm only putting bearings where I think they really will do the best work. This is a hybrid ceramic ABEC 9 run dry bearing and uh, this is the Akios mag system that I have shoehorned into this Abu and as you can see the clicker is also still intact the spool oh, come out if I do that you get the idea the uh, drive cog for the level wind does not touch the spindle in any shape or form and you've got two more hybrid ceramic bearings and the white thing you've got spinning around the side at the moment is the AKS rough ground six pin centrifugal brake should you need it and yeah you very very well might need it and obviously the spool, what a stunning, stunning looking spool. And if you look down inside here, you can see the, uh, uh, I'm going to turn it around this way so you can point to it. Here we go, there. That is the pinion gear and behind it is the main gear. And this is the full stainless steel Manfish 6.3 to 1 ultra high speed retrieve gears and just to add to that you've got 
a dual bearing. This is one bearing here and one bearing here. Dual bearing, level wind, making the M12 reel. And this is a one-off, one-of-a-kind, M12 titanium extreme carbon but a one of a kind titanium extreme carbon level wind reel 12 bearings acrylic parts and not to mention when I think about it the one thing that I forgot about is that it's also got this tiny 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 little red custom control knob for the uh, mag system that took me hours to make. Yeah. You will not find that build anywhere else. That is very, very very special it's up on the bay of evil and thieves it's also available directly from me just for a change when i actually do the upload it's live and available i'm jamie thank you for watching pmr pimp my reel please don't forget to hit the like button please also don't forget to hit the share button yeah definitely should like and share this lots and lots of times and if you want to know what's going on in the PMR universe, please subscribe.